Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, ¿estás feliz? Please? Sí. Well, to all those present and to those whom are absent, congratulations and thank you for warmly welcoming my NRSD class with open arms. A diverse, caring community of happy people greeted us, and it has been an honor to coexist with you in the spirit of cooperation, understanding, tolerance, and peace. From living in this community, I've learned a great deal about sustainable development and natural resources. You have shown that peace and sustainable development are not statements, but actions. UPeace is defined by the community it supports and the acts and intentions of its community members. Weekly scheduled sports, morning yoga, up monk, cultural nights, clowning visits, la carpio, communal dinners, exchange of knowledge from our respective homelands, and the pursuit of personal development are a few examples of what defines the UPeace community, the way it functions, and its willingness to provide opportunities for sharing happiness with others. The importance of happy communities in peace and sustainable development cannot be emphasized enough. Counting El Salvador's electoral system and you piece itself amongst them, you have worked to improve the capacity of institutions that coexist within communities and ultimately are responsible for the promotion, of promotion and protection of rights, security, well-being, peaceful coexistence, and other values found in the you piece charter. Building happy communities and the capacities of individuals and institutions in order to stimulate cooperation, lessen obstacles, and advance the causes of justice and peace are part of your legacy. The institutional memory you have left to my NRSD class and to future UPeace generations. For these lessons, I thank you. And as we prepare to go our separate ways, I kindly remind you of what you have taught me. The challenges facing human rights, sustainable development, environment, and other elements that form the basis of justice and peace in today's world require diligence, commitment, and action from proactive individuals, communities, and institutions. Peace and sustainable development requires that institutions and decision makers are held accountable. They must be reminded that the words you talk must be the words you walk. As you face the obstacles to peace head on, working to shape and reform institutions, recall that the pursuit of change is as important as the individual relationships we have and the communities we create. Do not, forget this happy, do not forget this happy community you helped build. Do not forget that peace in today's world will require vibrant, tolerant communities akin to what is found at UPeace, and that these communities are founded on lessening obstacles, the making possible of opportunities for others. Most importantly, do not forget that people are the most precious of natural resources. Humans, their rights and connection to environments make possible the just, empowered, and dynamic communities that peace and sustainable development must be founded upon. Your legacy does not end here. It will be carried by my NRSD class to the next generation of students and spread to others as you, yourselves, travel life's paths and continue to act in the service of justice and peace, a world of happy, tolerant, and caring people. Thank you, and may security and peace always accompany you.